Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. And our time for reflection leader today is Ms Ellen Douglas, head teacher of St Ambrose High School, Coatbridge. Presiding officer and members of the Scottish Parliament, thank you very much for the opportunity to address you. Today marks a very significant day in the school calendar as young people across Scotland receive their exam results. And of course, there is great interest about how pupils have fared in this first year of the new national qualifications. As head teacher of a large secondary Catholic school, I am acutely aware of the importance of qualifications as stepping stones for our young people in moving to the next stage of their young lives. It's indeed always a pleasure and a privilege for me as a teacher to share in the successes secured as dreams start to materialise. Alongside that, however, is the absolutely critical role of schools to deliver a values-driven education based on gospel values such as faith, love, equality, compassion, dignity and integrity. Of course, schools do not, do not act in isolation in cultivating values. This is achieved in collaboration with family, the faith community and the wider community to which our young people belong. The wisdom of the Indian chief Sitting Bull resonate when he said, let us put our minds together to see what lives we can build for our children. As a nation, it is important that we continue to work collectively to foster a common understanding and commitment which serves the best interests of the young and especially those whose lives are vulnerable and blighted by disadvantage. Those whose endeavours seek to close the poverty attainment achievement gap are to be commended for their labours. I'm frequently humbled and heartened by the generosity of many of the young people I meet daily. It is tremendously reassuring to hear so many of them seek to fulfil their ambitions in roles which offer service and support. Examples of their willingness to act in the style of servant leaders abound and give witness to the gospel values which they espouse. This desire to seek fulfilment by doing for others rather than by acting through self-interest and material reward mirrors the leadership of Christ and reflects gospel teaching. As the new school session draws closer, I pray that all of Scotland's young people may be guided and supported in their learning so that they may develop their God-given gifts. In so doing, they will be able to shine as beacons of faith, hope and optimism for our country. The next item of business is consideration of business motion 10728 in the name of Joe Fitzpatrick on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau setting out a business programme.